with the constant multiple rule, we can take some constant and move it out of the way in front of our differentiation operation, calculate the derivative on whatever variables are left, and then we can bring the constant back into play afterward. So as usual, let's look at an example with numbers to make sense of this. So let's say that y is equal to x to the power of four. We already know from the preceding video on the power rule that dy dx in this case is equal to four x cubed. All right, so given that, let's now work through this new rule that we have. So let's say that we want to calculate the derivative of 2y. So according to the constant multiple rule, we can grab the constant 2, bring it out in front of the differentiation operation, and then we can calculate dy dx separately. Well, we already know that dy dx is equal to 4x cubed, in this case where y is equal to x to the power of 4, so we can simply drop in for dy dx this 4x cubed value. And now, simple multiplication, when we bring the constant back into the picture, 2 times 4x cubed is 8x cubed. Nice. Well, if this seemed a little bit confusing, the good news is that there's another way of thinking about the constant multiple rule that is simpler. So let's go through it this way. The previous slide allowed you to get an in-depth understanding of everything that's going on, but we can make a few leaps in the notation. And with this simpler way of thinking about things, we can do the same computation as we did on the last slide in quite a few steps. We can do all of these steps in really just a very small number of steps. So let's say that y is equal to 2x to the power of 4. This is the same as the example that we had on the preceding slide, but we're just showing in a different way here. And now when we calculate the derivative dy dx, we just calculate the derivative of everything other than the constant. So as we talked about on the last slide and in the preceding video on the power rule, x to the power of 4 becomes 4x cubed. And so we just perform that derivative operation while ignoring the constant. And after we've calculated the derivative, we bring the constant back into the picture and two times four X cubed, just like we saw on the last slide is equal to eight X cubed. Sweet. One more extremely important derivative rule coming up for you next, that's the sum rule. After that, we'll dive into a few exercises to tie together all the rules we'll have covered up to that point.